Hi, welcome back. In our last video, we saw how to create the users. In this video, I'm going to make the login part using the WP. So here first, I'm going to make the utility. So that utility, I'm going to make it as uh, one thing, which is a cookie. So the selected user, we have to select as a cookie. So we have to write it here as this one as a cookie. That is an efficient way to do the programming. So the cookie class we have to implement that. You have to write here public static select DTO. You select DTO here. We have here the data is coming via the DTO format. So here selected user. You have, you have to write it here as a selected user. Whatever you can write. Select the users, whatever. Write this name. Right? That's the thing you have to write. Okay. Right? Here we have we have defined the user. Which which user you are going to select? Whether doctor or patient. Right? So this code, uh, uh, this code, we are implement the purpose of the selected user for selector cookie. This of the we are uh, creating the efficient program, right? So after that, what you are going to do is we have done the cookie part well. Let's make the login form. So go to the view, new, GFA form. Here we have to make the login. The login, what you are going to do is you have to make the. Uh, you have to write this one should be you have to write as a login username email email so you have to write here you are adding we have to write put it as here login Drag the label, make it as login. Right click properties, make it as white. Pick the font size little bit bigger with bold 24. Okay, close it. This email. Email, control C to copy, control V to paste it. This one should be the password. After that, you have to type the role. Control C to copy, control V to paste it. This one should be the role. First one text box, first text box you have write it here. This one should be properties. Here have to make the font size a little bit bigger 14 and bold. This one you have to right click very text backspace look at the exit set text. What you're going to see this one chain text txt email control C copy control with this one should be the password. Third one should be the role. Drag the radio button. So doctor. So doctor. Copy. Paste it here. This one should be the patient. Doctor or patient. You have to make this patient. This a login. This a login. Select this one, right click properties, code generate center, right? You have to generate so this one, you have to make it as control F, 
uh, go to the source control f so to make this one ui design as so to make it as ui metal right now let's run the login form right it's working perfectly well now here what you're going to do is now you will be able to select the user or patient right you have to select the doctor or patient you will be able to select right it will be login the user uh, the role you are selected based on the role it will be login right so first what you're going to do is double click the login button here here why what you're going to do is we have to this same i have written the code i'll be explained don't worry this code is a professional code i have written so you can see here right so the account type so we have to implement the account type so that's not error so the radio button was the name i have written rb doctor you have name it as rb doctor this one should be named as rb patient patient connection this connection class you have right here here right implement the package import java dot sql dot implement the package you have to cookie here this implement this class cookie class the dto and you enter the utility we have a cookie the password configuration we have a utility the password configure all things right this class we have to implement it i don't know this course code i provide right right now first what you are going to do is i have first we have starting from the checkbox uh, by first this text box we have to check it whether the uh, email and password you are typing correct or not right the user you are registered you have entered the username and password correct or not so if you are doctor or patient right so and you have to select the role, you have to check it. So you have to here you have to write check it as three things here. Right? Here, if the user select us as doctor or patient, right? Here the account type. We have to call the account type. So here. You have to type doctor or patient, right? You have to uh, enums, you have to you have to return separate enums, you have to checking by the doctor or patient. That's why you have to I hope you have to understand the things here. Okay, so far. Okay, the email and password we have to what is of username and password you entered over here it will be passed into the this email and password variable after that account type what is the account type you are selected here it will be passing to this account type object right after that you have to establish the database connection we already done this database connection over here uh the db database connection we have to call it here you have to check it prepare statement first if we have to write the prepare statement check it select all from the user via email and road so email and road so here the user the user table we have go to the user table you have to check it user table email and road only the they are checking email and road the what is the, the what is the email you are printer belongs to that road it will be uh if, if you enter the email and role, it according to the user will be selected, right? According to the user will be selected, right? So the email, what's the email you entered? What's the password? Right, your password it will be checking later on. Here's the role. It will check in the role. Here role. You have to call this role. Account type you have to call it here, right? It will be checking, right? The user table. After that, here. If the use email and password you entered is email and password before you are checking the password you have to write here. First you are checking the email and the user type. Whether it is a doctor, you have entered the doctor email and password. Imagine you have entered the uh, doctor email and password. After it goes to the cookie, it selected. It goes the cookie will be okay. This is a cookie. Which one is a we have to return the user DTO. User DTO it is a part. Okay, you can go here it will be setting this setting it's a constructor which will be email pass email all the things right so here what i did here is you can see here 
it will be go to the DTO and set first name, last name, email, and password, account type. It will be uh, checking the users things here, right? In cookie, right? After that, it will be checking whether the what is the password you are entered on this text field here. This password is taken here. It will be decrypted here. Uh, the password you have decrypted and checking because it's that we are uh, storing the password as here. This one as a encrypt. So we have to uh, check whether this password is correct or not. We have a function of the here. We already create the function password config. This password config. When you check it, we have to de decrypt and check it. Then only we will be getting the uh, real. Okay, we have to decrypt and check it. So we have to the password. We decrypt and check it. Or the account type equal. If it is a patient, we have to go to the patient table and check via the email. Right, this is email ID. Enter the email ID. If the person will check it, which email ID is coming, it checking whether it is doctor or patient. Right, if it is a coming the dog, a dog a patient, it will be this one should be executed. If the email is coming via the doctor, this email is working doctor success. Right, it will be logging as a doctor success. Okay, uh, what is the password you are entering? So, here now let's check it. So, here. Uh, here this is a user I am logging as a this one is a Peter right this doctor I am I have registered as a here Peter has already registered here Peter at gmail.com right okay so so this user here also there so I have entered so let me check it right the password I haven't give the uh, gave one two three so let me check it whether it's working fine or not so let's right click the login first you are right there wrong username and password you have write it Login wrong, it will be telling as a wrong. If you enter the peter at gmail.com, password is your type, your writer here, encrypt one. I just give here login here, doctor success. So, here this is small problem, it's working, but it's not a this is not an efficient way. So, you have to instead of this text field, you have to get them as a password text field. This is the efficient way to include the password. Right, so this one should be the what's the character you have to do it. Right, right. 18. So this that one also you have to make as 18 with bold. Right. Right. Perfect. Now you have done the work perfect. Now let's check it whether it's working fine or not. What's error? Sorry, we have txt password. That we have a code, we have to write it here password. Right? Now let me check it. Peter and gmail.com password 123. So, what is the problem? Peter at gmail.com password. Sorry, we have haven't checked the road here. So, if you are checking it as a patient, it's wrong. Right? It's a patient is wrong. Now let's check the patient also. First patient we have created as a ABC, the patient name, BBC, just something like that. Right here, you have to write ABC at gmail.com. So you have to write a, normally you have to create the name also. Uh, Steve, BBC, you have to name this Steve at gmail.com. It's a patient, it's a male. Okay, this is a patient email right save record save successfully i'm going to go to the use table here also i'm going to register steve maybe something like that email also steve at gmail.com password here also we am going to set the password right set the password which is a patient click save button now we are going to log into the user you will here you can observe here now this time Sir, steve at gmail.com password i have entered here if it is a doctor wrong if you are selected as a patient patient success now you have a good understanding right this is how we have a we have setting up the efficient way to do the program this is the way we have to do the efficient way to do the programming thank you for watching if you have any doubt you can ask me if you love my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching